Uh, I don't even know how to properly start off this video, but I just want to say, in case it wasn't clear, the people in Hollywood are really crazy and really dumb, and they're just showing that more and more all the time, and if, in case that wasn't clear to you yet. So we have here people from Hollywood who are calling out Game of Thrones Season 8, not because of the poor writing, not because of the, the dumb creative decisions that they've been making with this season so far. They're calling out this, this season because... Of their treatment of women because of identity politics because uh because the season isn't woke enough for these people and so because of that they get on twitter and they project how woke they are and uh, these people don't care about good character development they don't care about good storytelling that is becoming more and more clear the only thing they care about is identity politics they they haven't made any criticisms about the writing they haven't made any criticisms about the creative decisions that they made the only criticisms criticisms that they have have to do with female empowerment pretty much and so we have here Jessica Chastain, who on Twitter said, Rape is not a tool to make a character stronger. A woman doesn't need to be victimized in order to become a butterfly. The little bird was always a phoenix. Her prevailing strength is solely because of her and her alone. What does that even mean? Her prevailing strength is solely because of her and her alone. That doesn't even make sense because as human beings, we become stronger. We become better because of our because of our situation, because of the, the difficulties that we go through, because of things like that. That is what makes us, that, that is what helps us grow. That is what what makes us stronger we can't just if if we were just <laughs> we can't just grow because on our own okay the the way that we grow the way that we become stronger is by the things that happen in our lives so this doesn't even make sense right here and the thing is that you know sansa never said that rape was the thing that made her stronger Basically, here in this last uh, this last season, uh, she said, uh, "You've changed, little bird." And, and, well, she said, uh, "Without Littlefinger and Ramsay and the rest, I would have stayed a little bird all my life." So, where in this are you getting that she's saying, "Yep, rape was the was great. Wait, rape is what made me stronger." She she isn't saying that at all here. She is not saying that in the sentence. All that she is saying is that the difficult things that these men have put her through, which might include the might include rape but that isn't what she's saying here she's saying that the difficult things that these men put her through all the trials all of the the hardships is what made her stronger and that, that totally makes sense that is how we as human beings grow oh yeah yeah and it's not just sansa think about think about theon think about all the crap that he went through in his life throughout this show think about how strong and how awesome he became by the end of the show because of the crap that he went through it's not just Sansa it's, they're not doing this to try to put down women they're not doing this to because they're they're being sexist they're doing this because Sansa oh, crap I did not mean to click on that because Sansa is a great character who has had great development I'm not even a big fan of Sansa but I, I respect what they've done with her character throughout this show um and it's not just Sansa, it's Theon. Think think about the, the crap that Theon went through. Think about the crap that all of these different characters have grown through. The whole point of the show is that these people go through all these hardships, through all these difficult th situations, and they become stronger on the other end of it. Think about the, the crap that... that that Jamie's been through. Think about all of the hardships that Daenerys has been through, that Jon has been through. All these characters have suffered in some way or another and have been through terrible situations involving terrible people, and they become stronger and better on the other side of that. That is the whole point. That is what makes good storytelling. That is what makes good writing, good character development. Why do these people who are supposed to be who are supposed to be storytellers. Why do these people not understand that? These are supposed to be the greatest storytellers of our culture. And they they totally do not get this concept at all. Uh, I don't even know who this person is. Cl Clarkisha Kent. I have no idea who, who this is. But uh, she says, I would ra have rather have... I would have rather Sansa be been like it is what it is to the events that led to her season versus basically implying being assaulted and shit make it made her stronger, just pitiful. She isn't saying that at all. Sure, that might include that, but that is not the only thing that she is saying. She is saying that the hardships that she's been through with these different characters is what made her stronger. And that's just a blatant fact. 
If you can't handle that, then don't watch the show. Oh my goodness. And why would you want her to just be like, it is what it is. Like, that isn't good character development. That isn't showing how she is stronger on the other side of this. Oh my gosh. And definitely written by a whatever man. It's, it's stupid. It's sexist. It's, <laughs> this is just so sexist, too. It's ridiculous. And then we have here a great pal, Ava DuVernay, <laughs> who we know just loves to, to show her, her wokeness on Twitter and stuff. So, the one and only sister on the whole epic years-long series, that's what you want to do? Okay. She's talking about Misandi's death and stuff. And, you know, see, do you guys understand what I'm trying to say here? These people don't care about good storytelling. They don't care about good character development. The only thing that they look for in these types of shows, in movies, in everything that they enjoy and enter, enjoy entertainment wise is how woke it is where's the identity politics all of that type of stuff <laughs> it's i i they're they're giving me all of the evidence i need to, sh to show this to you guys they they're absolutely obsessed with identity politics they're absolutely obsessed with the things that don't even really matter when it comes to good storytelling and because of that our storytelling and the storytelling in general in Hollywood is suffering because of this, because these people don't care about good storytelling. The only thing that they care about is how woke they can be, how, how much identity politics they can put in their stuff, how they can push their political narrative. That is the only thing that they care about. It's ridiculous. While on the other hand, we are the people that are talking about the story, the story issues, the writing, all that type of stuff. But remember, we are the sexist. We apparently are the sexist, even though that is not the, the drive of what we have been saying is wrong with this entire se with this entire season so far. We are not the ones that are focusing on the gender. We are not the ones that are focusing on the the race, any of that type of stuff when it comes to this show, when it comes to this season. These people are. These are the people that are focusing on the gender and the race, all of that crap. But apparently we are still the, the sexists and the racists. I'll let you decide <laughs> between between uh, the different sides of the the entertainment war, I guess you could say, who are the real sexists and racists out there. Anyway, with that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments below, and I will talk to you all very soon in another video. Talk to you later. Bye.